Hey guys, I want to welcome you to the Creek House. This is a wonderful full weekend experience. It'll be four days and three nights. The main house is right behind me, sleeps about 20 people. The barn house was really just a barn that we converted, sleeps about another 30 to 40. And that last little cabin you see now is going to be the honeymoon cottage, obviously for the couple. Um, so now we are going to walk in and go start in the main venue itself, so follow me. All right, so welcome to the Creek House venue. This big, huge outdoor space that we're standing in right now um, serves as a couple purposes. One, this is kind of cocktail hour area on the day of the wedding. Um, we do have a full bar back there. It also serves as a rain or backup. Although it's open air, it still has a roof so that you can be protected. If mother nature comes in, gives us rain, gives us too much heat, whatever the case may be, we still have an alternate. And then the third alternate itself would be to move the whole venue or the whole wedding inside the venue itself. So I wanted to talk about the lumber a little bit because we sourced this lumber from a warehouse in Tennessee that was built in 1907 and had caught in fire and the city deemed that the building needed to be taken down. I found up here on one of the beams an actual print and when I looked up that print to find out what it was, it's a town in Wisconsin um, and back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, they actually built the railroad to this town so that they could harvest the lumber and harvest the pine and get it to the east coast. So they helped build the east coast by putting in this rail system. Um, so these beams that you see right now are, were all harvested in 1907 in Wisconsin, shipped to Tennessee to build a warehouse that stood for 100 years until we got this building and turned around and created this space for you guys. So from here, I wanna bring you to the actual inside of the venue where you guys would have your dinners, dancing, and speeches for the rest of the night. Okay, everyone, so welcome to the inside of the Creek House. This is where you're gonna spend that evening of the night of your wedding. The venue is gonna come with a bunch of stuff to help you out, and there's gonna be some things that you need to bring in. So first and foremost, we're gonna provide all the tables and chairs for you we're gonna provide the bartending service for you. So you guys will buy the actual alcohol, bring in your kegs. I do have a um, margarita machine, so if you want cold drinks, you just need to buy the mix and the booze to go in it. The bartenders will come in a couple hours early, set chairs, get everything ready, make sure the bar is ready and set. Um, there's an ice machine here on site as well, so they'll take care of all of those details for you. Okay? You're gonna have to bring in a few things, food, flowers, cake, photography, videography, and a um, officiant, somebody to actually marry you. So once you have those things, um, it's kind of done. I know, you know a lot of people really stress about weddings. It is a huge day you know, top five day in your life, really. Um, so we take it very seriously and we wanna make sure that you guys are taken care of. So enjoy your weekend here, but this is gonna be the main hall where you're gonna hang out, um, eat your dinner, give your speeches, and then party and have fun and start dancing. Okay, so I have one little surprise over here in the corner of the actual venue, and that's gonna be your bridal suite. So the great thing about down here and being just off the venue itself is once, and you're here for that whole weekend, right? So once you wake up in the morning on the day of the wedding, you're just gonna walk straight down to the venue and you and your girls get to hang out in here, do all of your hair and makeup, and you're right here, part of the venue itself. So you can help with um, the coordinator if she needs to ask questions, she knows where to find you, it's very easy. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you about this bridal suite is our back porch right here. So what's gonna happen is it gives you the ability for you and the girls to just be able to slip outside, take photos, slip back inside, and no one gets to see you guys. Hey guys, welcome to the actual ceremony site. So we put this down here by the creek bed itself. Um, it lends to a vast, huge field and lots of space for everybody. Um, we take care of setting up the benches down here for you guys. That is part of our thing. But this would be the actual ceremony site. Bad weather, inclement weather, then you would actually be up in the venue itself. <music> 
Okay, so right now we're, I'm standing right in front of what we call the social gathering space or the social patio. Um, it's right between the main house and the barn house. So this gives your guests this great place to hang out for the whole weekend. You're gonna be here more than one day. So you gotta have things for them to do and places for everyone to hang out that's not gonna be in the venue. So right behind me, you can see that there's a great big, nice covered space back there. There's also a fire pit over here. Um, as long as there's no fire ban on, um, then we can get you some wood. You guys can hang around the fire pit that night. Um, and just be able to use this space for you and your family and friends to almost get to know each other. Some of them haven't met before and you know others have hung out for years. So it's gonna be a great place. I've actually used that space a few times for myself and my family and do reunions. And this is where we always ended up at the end of the night, sitting around that campfire, hanging out and just having a great time. So now we're gonna actually go see the main house, the lodging inside. You'll be able to see the kitchen, living room, and all the details inside. Okay guys, welcome to the Creek House and the main house is what we call this. We're standing in the kitchen right now and I think it's really important that we stop here because if you're gonna be spending a weekend with your friends and family, this space right here is super important. Everyone wants to gather in the kitchen while food's being made. So we made it really nice and wide open big, there's double ovens, there's a cooktop behind me. Um, actually these counters or the cabinets behind me, one side's a fridge and one side's a freezer. It's actually not a cabinet. Um, so there's huge space down here because you're gonna be cooking a couple meals if you're not gonna cater everything in. So there's gonna be a couple breakfasts that need to be made or dealt with and a couple lunches. Uh, normally the dinners work themselves out. There's gonna be a rehearsal dinner the day before the wedding and on the day of the wedding, another dinner. So usually just worried about breakfast, lunches, and then some snacks during the day. So this gives you that huge social gathering space. The main house is really big. It's just over 3,000 square feet. It has four really nice big bedrooms. The master bedroom is, is, as you'll see in a minute, gigantic. And we have three queen beds in there, kind of like the loft style. Okay guys, so right behind me here is the back side of the barn house. Uh, this might look little, but I've got a huge surprise in here for you. So basically it is two halves. They are identical to each other. So when we walk in, you're gonna see two bedrooms downstairs with a nice um, bathroom down there and kitchenette area for them to be able to use. And then you're gonna go up some stairs into a huge loft that sleeps 10 people. So what I kind of explained to most people was that big loft is either gonna be you know, a whole bunch of guys or a whole bunch of girls in there, or maybe it's a family unit. Like, you know, Uncle Joe's coming to your wedding and I've got a wife, I've got a couple kids, I've got a grandkid. You know, we can all come over and just take that one space for our family. So it's different ways to use that space. Okay, so right now I'm standing in front of one of the three rooms that we have down in front of the barn house. Um, these are all private individual rooms. They all have their own bathroom, their own bed, their own sink, and a futon. So it could sleep just two people. Normally they're gonna be for moms, dads, grandmas, somebody who needs some privacy. Um, but it could also be a family unit, maybe somebody that has a little one and just needs more privacy. Okay, so last but not least is the honeymoon cottage. So follow me up into here. 